So Kalina, where are you? You should come up here. You are going to get roasted a little bit. <laughs> so people often wonder, like, you know, like we, we just got done with the interview process. Um, and like, do you actually remember the students? I remember Kalina's interview so distinctly. She came in and she had talked about how she had this betta fish. And she was raising betta fish. I didn't even know what a betta fish was. And we started quizzing her on the betta fish. And she was just so passionate and excited about that. And I know she probably walked in and was like, oh my god, I just talked about betta fish for 10 minutes. <laughs> but what we were excited about was that she was excited. Because we want to be around people that are excited. We want to be around people that are passionate. And I think we, uh, we, we, we chose right. I've just I've met with her recently. We, we went out to coffee over, over uh, Christmas break. And just hearing all the things she's done have just been so exciting. She still has that same passion, that same energy, that same enthusiasm. And um, I'm going to, I'm going to, this is my minor roast. And I think you should, if, you, if it's not in your talk, I want you to talk about it a little bit. Do you remember like the beginning of your senior year when we went out of the hallway and I was like, Kalina, I thought you would grab this bull by the horns a little bit more. And you were like, Shire, I'm totally, I'm totally dropping the ball. And then from then on, she totally like just snapped out. I was like, Kalina, this is going to change your life. And so she took, she, she, it was, it was hard. It was a transition. We had, tr we were transitioning our robotics. We had all these weird night classes. It was super disorganized, but we needed the kids to step up. And Kalina was like, I was like, you were the betta fish girl. Like you need to bring it. <laughs> you, you can't. You can't be one of the kids that doesn't have that. Like, I know you have this in you. And she totally did. And we, we talk about her project on the carousel. It's one of the most delightful ones. And I remember just a little anecdote. We came back from Maker Fair. A lot of kids were kind of burned out. We built the carousel to the, for the most part. And I remember Kalina was frustrated because her, her, um, her exhibit on there was hard to see. And she noticed it when it was out there actually functioning in the real world. And so she actually came back. She took the whole thing, disassembled it, redesigned how to get it lit worked with another engineer to kind of get it all wired up properly. And it was really important to her that when she left, it like had that full, uh, you know, that full effect and that improvement. And she could have just come back from Maker Faire and said, senioritis, I'm good. But she was in there. I remember she was in there on days where it was like the picnic and the, the beach and all this other stuff. And she was in there like closing the project out to make sure it's, it's, it was great. And that grit, that grit is what we really want our students to get. And that was why I pulled Kalina aside. I was like, that grit, you, you need to build that grit. That's going to serve you well. So yeah. that's just, I just want to share that. We're super proud of Kalina. And it was way fun having her a student. I'm really excited to have her back. And I think she's going to give a really fun, fun talk because I know yes. her. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, so my name is Kalina, and I graduated in 2015. So my class was the first class to go through all four years of the program curriculum, as well as making the very first mechatronics carousel of physics. Um, and as Shair has had just said, pulling me aside that day and saying, you know, this is going to change your life, like that couldn't hold more true, um, especially seeing where I've gotten so far through this program. So. I want to just share with you a little bit of how um, the experience that I had at the Engineering Academy brought me to the internships and work experience that I have today that I never would have thought I would have um, at this point in my life. So about a year ago, I walked into an interview with Apple wearing uh, jeans, Birkenstocks, and my Patagonia with my resume and portfolio full of all my projects that I had at the DPA being images, solid work drawings, everything. And they offered me a six month long internship. So I'll go into that in a little bit, but um, just to give you a premise of like, obviously it was not my outfit that got me the job. It was <laughs> obviously the portfolio full of all the work that we did there. So um, in reflecting about what I wanted to share with you today, I kind of boiled it down to two skill sets that I think I gained through this program that most students coming into college do not have, um, have not had the opportunity to like work on those skills. So the first thing um, is work ethic and the ability to take initiative and problem solve and be proactive about um, a problem you are given. So unfortunately, um, I don't think that I would have been given a challenge or problem in college 
that did not come with an attached solution manual at all. So I would not have had a problem without an attached solution manual until after I had graduated, probably working my first full-time job. But the academy changed that and pushes that timeline back by four years. So that your freshman year of high school or my freshman year of high school, all through senior year, I was working on problems that nobody knew the answer. It was, what do we do? We don't know, figure it out. So my first day of Mechatronics, Shair stood in front of us and presented a CAD model idea of the carousel of physics and said, this is the idea, this is our vision. Here are your resources, here are your mentors. Figure it out, let's do this. So if that, that experience was a stepping stone for me and is so identical to what I did at Apple that the comparison is, is it's just, it's so incredible. At Apple on my first day of work, my manager gave me an assembly of five parts and said, this is the, what we currently have. We want you to make it go from five to two using laser technology. She didn't give me any resources or mentors, and I had to figure it out all by myself. <laughs> that was really stressful. But what I'm trying, I honestly can't, okay. Yeah, I'm glad that I'm back at school, essentially. <laughs> uh, but what I mean by this is like, I had already done that in high school. And that can, that it's, you can tell when you're interviewing someone that they have already had those challenges that they have already had to build that own initiative, that own proactive seeking of resources and reaching out to mentors, to other groups, to other people that have tried what you might try. So the Academy taught me that and it was totally applicable to what I was doing at Apple this past, this past six months, because I just finished. Um, so that was number one, work, work ethic. Um, number two, you're probably all still wondering how I got a job wearing Birkenstock jeans in a Patagonia. And the answer to that is the fact that I was able to go into my interview for that job with a tangible packet of all of my work that I had done for those four years. And what I mean is that um, I knew my projects inside and out because I was actually having to work through them. I had to actually figure out failure, why is it failing, go through iterations and iterations of design, fail multiple times over and over again. It's frustrating, but the fact that I had succeeded and knew why I succeeded is something that I was able to talk about. And that gives, gave me a level of confidence in myself, in my projects, in the way I could communicate it to people, especially my interviewer, that most students don't have going into one of their first interviews in college. And that I definitely know, talking to my manager afterwards, is very noticeable in young people and not something that you usually find. So in, in those reasons, like, I don't know, the, the Engineering Academy changing my life? Yes, absolutely. And what I've seen, um, the comparison between like work and engineering, is that uh, college is high school with thicker solution manuals and longer equations, and work is what I did at the Engineering Academy, except I was now getting paid. So, <laughs> so if anything, um, yeah, just thank you so much to the program for everything that it um, has given me and all the students going through it now. Um, for the rest of the year, I plan on, I will be taking another quarter off school. I've taken about a year off school now to do co-ops and study abroad. Um, which I highly recommend if any of you are considering that, especially the seniors. Um, and I will be um, working for Google on their product design nest team from April to June. So, and then, like I said, the Engineering Academy catapults, catapulted me up to another level going into my first interviews to Apple, and then Apple is bringing me to Google, and then I don't know where, what will be next, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Thank you so much to this academy and everything that is given.